Well, good morning and welcome to another Angling Direct Quick Bite. And you join me this morning after a successful night fishing for big eels. But before I pack up, I'm gonna talk through my top three baits that I use when I'm targeting these big eels. Well, before I go into too much detail, I wanna quickly mention the rig that I fish all three of my favorite baits on, and that is the twig rig. It's such an efficient rig for lip hook and eels, which is really important. And we have done a quick bite before, showing exactly all the components you need and exactly how to tie. And if you wanna see that quick bite, I'll put a link in the description below that'll take you straight to that video. Now, probably my number one out of the three baits that I use for eels has to be small, fresh, dead baits. And I like coarse baits myself, little roach or little rud. Even better still, if you can catch them at the fishery that you're fishing, the fresher, the better. And normally if I catch them three to four inches long and I cut them in half, you can use the tail section or the head section. It doesn't matter. And they certainly pick out those bigger eels. My second choice when it comes to big eel baits has to be lobworms. They're an absolutely brilliant eel bait. The only downside sometimes is when there's lots of other species in the lake, you will get pickups from carp, bream, tench and other species. But if you can get away with fishing those worms, they're absolutely brilliant. And one little tip, I've adapted my twig rig slightly from looking at my tench rigs where I use a worm kebab. I fish a twig rig, but with a hair rig and a quick stop on the back of the hook and fish little segments of worm, me and I hook up more of the eels when they pick up my bait. Finally, my third choice of baits when it comes to big eels has got to be raw jumbo king prawns. They're the same ones that I use when I fish for big perch and they make a great eel bait. One of the things I like about those prawns is it's really convenient. I can keep a few packets in the freezer. If I suddenly get a last minute night when I can get down the lake, I can just grab a bag of bait and I'm fishing straight away. I like to fish them on those hair rigs the same as I do those worm kebabs. You can cast them long distances and they don't come off. And one last little tip that applies to all three of those baits that I've mentioned, fishing them over a bed of either live or dead maggots adds even more attraction to the swim. So we've still got plenty of nice warm weather left this summer and that's prime eel conditions. And for me, out of all the specimen fish that I fish for, I think a really big eel has to be the holy grail. So good luck if you go out and see if you can catch yourself a giant eel.